Hi guys, so I just wanted to show you uh, the definition of a hyperbola in action. So section 8.5 is graph and write equations of hyperbolas. In other words, we wanna understand what a hyperbola is, first of all, using the definition. Um, and then we will talk about um, how to graph, it, graph them and write equations about them and solve problems involving hyperbolas, okay? But uh, firstly, what we want to do is look at the definition. So the definition of a hyperbola is uh, the set of all points right here. It's the set of all points P, such that the difference of the distances between P and two fixed points called the foci is a constant. So the differences between, of the distances between P and two fixed points. So here's point P. Okay, here's point P in our GeoGebra animation. And the differences of this distance right here, D2, from the point to one focus, if I subtract from that the distance from the point to the other focus, if I do the subtraction, D2 minus D1, I get a constant number. And so every point on this hyperbola here, or every point here, satisfies that equation, that D2 minus D1 is a constant, okay? And a constant meaning some number. So in our animation here, the constant in our subtraction is four. So if a point is to be on the hyperbola based on our definition, then um, the point must satisfy that this distance from here to here minus this distance from here to here, which this is the point to a focus minus the distance from this point to the other focus must be 4.02, okay? And so, this is fine, this is great, but I want to show you in practice what this actually looks like. If we animate this definition they gave you here, to you can see how the uh, uh, um, definition creates the hyperbolas. Okay, so if I take this, and I'm just gonna start dragging the points, and notice they all satisfy the definition that we had, that this minus this gives me four. Okay, and so if I do this, I drag the points around that all satisfy that constant of four, you can see I'm creating a hyperbola, okay? And then if I jump over to the other branch of the hyperbola, so remember this is called a branch, if I jump over to the other branch, I still get the same constant difference, but it can become negative, okay? It will become negative at some point, but we're really looking at the absolute value of this difference, and so, um, again, all the points that satisfy that property that this distance minus this distance is four uh, are the points that form the hyperbola, okay? And this one, I mean, usually what I do for students is animate it by clicking play and you can see it animate, but this looks kind of weird when you animate it. I'll play. You see, it's, it doesn't really draw a nice hyperbola, okay? So what I do is usually just draw up myself by doing this like I did for you, all right? And you can see the points, the more points I draw, I form a hyperbola like this, okay? All right, guys, I hope that helped you understand the definition of what a hyperbola is.